Well, gang, Carolina Jackpot coming at you. It's uh, Thursday evening, a little after 8 o'clock, and uh, I'm happy on one front. A favorite Chinese restaurant known as Fuji uh, opened back up a couple of days ago. <clears throat> it's just a hole in the wall place, but food there I find to be excellent. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. However, what I'm not excited about, I was looking down at the uh, recruiting rankings for um, South Carolina Gamecocks. <laughs> yeah, we are at currently for the 2021 class number 46. Yeah, 40 fucking six. Now, we only have like six commitments and uh, that's a problem in and of itself. Um, you know, most Gamecock fan will try to uh, brush this aside. Is this not a problem? It's all right. We're going to be okay. We don't have, nobody's committed yet. Uh, they're waiting to see what's, what? Bullshit. It's bull. No, that's not good. Right now in recruiting, which is quite frankly the most, I, that's the number one building tool for your program as you're recruiting, we are lagging behind such football powers as Rutgers, Western Michigan, Kansas. I think we may be dead last in the SEC. I mean, it's pathetic, and I could see it coming to this. I could see it coming to this. Uh, number one, uh, you know, you're just coming off of a four and eight season, um, and it doesn't matter what the schedule was last year. It don't make a shit. It doesn't matter what the schedule was. It doesn't matter that you had a ton of injuries. You always have a ton of injuries, so that's nothing new. Um, players look at that, and uh, you know. I wouldn't want to come there. I want to go somewhere where there's some sense of, uh, I can see some light at the end of the tunnel. I can see myself maybe be in the final piece. I don't want to go somewhere where I want to be part of a rebuilding project. And quite frankly, I think that some of these kids are looking the other way because they don't even know who they'd be playing for when they finally get on campus as year, right? Because I, boom, Bump, bomb, bust, whatever his damn name is, must dump. The coach I used to support, the coach that I supported for as long as I could. I mean, I really did as long as I could. Still think he's probably a decent guy, but uh, as a head football coach, uh, you are uh, you're awful. Man, right? just you're you're not good. Uh, you're not good for the program, uh, and you need to go away. And the staff that he's assembled, I, I think a couple of these assistant coaches are decent. I really do. I, I think the, the running back coach that we got, Des Kitchings, I think he's a heck of a coach. I really do. Uh, but he may not be around but one year. Because if Toolbag gets the axe, everybody else is getting the axe with him. Unless the new coach comes in and decides to keep a couple of these guys around. Lots of times new coaches will do that. Just for uh, their familiarity with the program and the, the campus and uh, the inner workings and, and so forth and, and whatnot. So uh, maybe that could happen, but um, I mean, kids, I think, are tend to shy away. I think this is gonna be uh, the lowest ranked recruiting class that we've had probably since I started rating recruiting classes, to be quite honest with you. Uh, it's not gonna be good. Uh, on the other end of the spectrum, uh, you got Tennessee right now at number three. Uh, I mean, you know, they do have a bit of a tradition there. I got to say, you know, they've got a national championship 22 years ago, and they have, you know, I don't know how many they have before that. I think they have one or so way back in the day. Uh, if you look at their overall record, they're still in like the top 20 in wins all time. So they got that. But uh, the last 10 years, they hadn't been worth a pinch of monkey shit. I mean, they've sucked. So, I, you know, it remains to be seen if these young men are, are just buying into a pipe dream. I mean, are they going to be developed by the staff? Does that uh, quarterback coach, offensive coordinator, whatever he is, T. Martin, I mean, is he any good? I mean, because uh, what's his name? Clay Helton out there at USC. He didn't want him. He didn't want him. So, uh I don't know. I don't know if they're going to get developed or not. But then again, I used to say the same thing about the kids that they uh, recruited at Clemson. And uh, most of them turned out to be very good. 
Uh, they picked up another five star. Was it yesterday? The day before yesterday? Uh, a uh, Will Shiflet, uh, uh running back. White boy. White boy running back. Taylor fan says he's going to be the next Christian McCaffrey. They're like, huh, he's going to be better. <laughs> he's going to be better than him. Okay, well, we'll see. He's from North Carolina. He's the number one rated player in the state of North Carolina, which is impressive, but I don't know that's really saying a lot. You know, North Carolina is not one of the hotbeds uh, of college football recruiting like Texas or uh, California or even uh, Georgia. But uh, still, still a good get for the Taters. Um, and, uh, you know, quite frankly, ranked a hell of a lot higher than anybody we got. What we've got, uh, we may have, I think we've got five players committed. I think there's a, a one four star, uh, four three stars, and, and one that's not even, I don't think he's even on the radar. I guess he doesn't even have any stars yet. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, not, I'm not happy with that. I'm not optimistic about this season, to be quite honest with you. I'm not optimistic about. Um, <laughs> I'm not optimistic about the next few seasons. Uh, whoever comes in is going to have a hell of a job in front of them. A hell of a job. I mean, one thing you do have is a fan base, and it's passionate. And some people say, "Really, y'all got the most? You got the most spoiled fan base and, and the, the most unrealistic fan base in the world?" Well, no, they're not. I, not so much. I don't think uh, you. There is nothing wrong with expecting to be able to go to a bowl game every year. They're quite easy to get into. All you got to do is beat three cupcake teams on your schedule because everybody's got three cupcakes on there. And, you know, win a couple of conference games and you're in. Bowls are not hard to get into. We should be able to get into a bowl every year. We should be able to win said bowl most every year. And we should be able to make an upward trajectory in the SEC East, culminating in a trip to Alabama to get our ship pushed in by Alabama or LSU. It's not happening. I mean, we're nowhere near that. We're nowhere near that. We're just praying that we'll be able to beat Missouri and damn Kentucky and maybe go three and five in the SEC. Woohoo! Jesus Christ, man. So I, I don't want to hear anything else about the schedule being hard. I don't want to hear anything else about this and that because this is why. And I said this last year for the new folks around. If you aren't already saying this, I don't want to hear any Gamecock fan bitch about the schedule being hard in one breath. And then you want to turn around and brag about playing in the SEC in the other breath. It don't work both ways. Your in-state rival is a perennial national championship contender. Let's just face facts. They've been in the son of a bitch for like the past three years. So, I mean, it is what it is. They're uh, they're They're riding high on the hog right now, and uh, you've got the rest of that SEC scheduled, and therefore the schedule's going to be difficult. So, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear any bitching about the schedule. It's not a difficult schedule. It is a championship schedule, in my opinion. That's all I got to say about it, but there won't be any championships this year. Um, my official prediction right now, I'm thinking four and eight, maybe five and seven. Uh, assuming all things go right, we win our three non conference games. There's two uh, winnable conference games I see on there. The rest of them, there's one that's maybe a toss up, and you know, another one that uh, uh, I don't see, uh, see panning out. But I'll do my predictions and, and picks and all that good stuff like I did last summer. That's coming. That's coming because I'm fully uh, I'm fully committed to the fact that I think football will be played in the fall. I really do. And um, I hope you all uh, think the same way as well. All we can do is be positive. You know what I'm saying? All we can do is be positive about that. Now, I'm not being positive about the Gamecocks. I'm being very negative about them. But uh, quite frankly, they've given me nothing but negative shit the past couple of years so I have uh, I have nothing positive right now uh, other than the fact that uh, passionate fan base, we got some good kids on the team, and um, I think they're going to give it a hell of a ride. I'll see y'all later. Appreciate you. Peace. And I'm out. Go Gamecocks, baby. Spurs up to my toes up. Ah, ah, ah. Fire boom. Woo.